his university in Toulouse, Professor Frederick Day is leading groundbreaking research in neuroergonomics. He's developing ways to help pilots handle stress in critical situations. A safety analysis reveals that the complexity of modern transportation aircraft can overwhelm even the most experienced uh, uh, pilots when something goes wrong. And generally, uh, pilots are confused, stressed, and fail to uh, assess the criticity of the situation. And generally, they also persist in an erroneous courses of actions, despite auditory warning, despite any visual warning in the cockpit. At the end, it leads to a crash. So this is dramatic events, somehow uh, surprising, because these pilots are supposed to be highly trained. And so there's a need to understand what are the neural mechanisms that can lead to such situations. His multidisciplinary team includes experts in signal processing, neuroscience, computer science and human factors. But they are also aided by cutting-edge technology. Our methodology is unique because we go from very basic research to uh, field research. So we conduct experiments in fMRI, which is kind of a big magnet, uh, allows us to monitor, to measure the underlying neural mechanisms of pilots and operating aircraft. Then we go to simplified simulators with portable devices like electroencephalography, spectroscopy, and then we move to flight simulators with the same kind of sensors, and then we are able to do the similar experiment in real operational conditions. We use a real aircraft because pilots do not behave in the same way when they are in the flight simulator. We provoke uh, engine failure, it's not real engine failure, but we shut down the engine for a while, and so we monitor uh, physiological activity, eye movement, uh, brain activity, and the idea is to analyze this data and see how the brain, how the body reacts uh, when facing such complex situation. Outside of aviation, the research has applications for nuclear power operators, surgeons, and other high-stress occupations. But it has a medical use too, helping stroke and brain injury victims. We found is that stress may temporarily impair cognitive abilities in the same way that a stroke. And this is why we have a strong cooperation with medical institutes to better understand uh, the underlying neural mechanisms that can lead to human error in the cockpit or with patients.